Hi, Mark Gordon with your Gold, Silver, and Spiders report for Monday, November 28th, 2011. It's about 8.35 Pacific Time, and uh, this is the GLD, the Gold ETF, up 1.88% right now, uh, having a good morning, gapped up this morning, uh, got above this blue line, the 50-day moving average, and we're uh, near the 100-day moving average here. Uh, we are in sort of this uh, uh, triangle pattern here. I drew some lines uh, off the top here, connecting some tops, and then this long-term um, uh, lower trend line here. So we're coming into a point of resolution here. Uh, it's going to get squeezed, it looks like, and we'll see if we uh, break out to the upside or downside. Anything can happen. Uh, volume has been light. Uh, today's going to be a pickup in volume. We're early in the day, and we're uh, just about the same volume uh, that was on Friday. So, of course, Friday was uh, was a, a vacation a day. So uh, we're going to eclipse that volume. It looks like. So hopefully, we get a real nice pickup in volume and uh, uh, close above this 100-day moving average, and hopefully close above the 50-day moving average. That'll be very bullish in the short term for the GLD. So uh, the bet is, um, in my opinion, that this lower trend line will hold. We did undercut it here, but closed right on it, um, recovering a, a midday here. Uh, so the bet would be that we hold down in here. Um, and then uh, come up here, challenge this upper trend line, maybe pull back again, who knows, or maybe break out to the upside. Um, certainly the news coming out of Europe that they're um, uh, going to inject almost $800 billion uh, to help uh, with the Italian and Spanish situation over there uh, is bullish for gold, in my opinion. Uh, it's just more money printing, uh, debasing the currencies further, therefore, um, making the price of gold rise in relation to the currencies. So uh, GLD uh, looking bullish here short term. And moving on now to the SLV, the silver ETF, uh, not as pretty of a chart uh, as, uh, as the gold, but up 3.48% right now. And um, so certainly having a bigger bounce here. Um, volume has been tapering off in light. Uh, again, uh, we may eclipse uh, the volume from Friday's uh, holiday uh, sort of trading here. What I don't like about the silver chart is that we are below the 50-day moving average, which is headed down. It crossed under the 21-day moving average. Short-term traders will look at that as a negative sign. Uh, we are below this lower trend line and uh, hopefully getting some support down here. Uh, we did come down here and hit uh, 29.83, bounced back up, got held back at the 50-day uh, moving average here, pulled back again. Now this low here that we made on Friday was not as low as uh, the one earlier in the week. So that's, that's a bullish sign. So hopefully uh, this sets up a nice little uh, area to bounce off of. Come back up here, challenge the 50-day moving average, maybe break through. Uh, then we'll have another little, little bit of a, a run here at the 21-day moving average. But uh, <clears throat> certainly if we can uh, close above uh, these lines here, we could certainly come back up and challenge uh, the next areas of resistance, which would be this upper Bollinger Band, this gray area. Uh, this, of course, is uh, the Bollinger Band, which is designed to keep prices within those bands 95% uh, of the time. So uh, there you have it, uh, silver not as strong as gold uh, uh, chart-wise, but uh, hopefully making a uh, foundation here to make a run and challenge these moving averages and get above them hopefully. And looking at some of these indicators, we're looking now, down here at the stochastics. Now we are oversold on the stochastics. When you get oversold, the likelihood of a bounce is, is greater, so that's a bullish uh, 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 formation for, uh, for the SLV here on the stochastics. Now, uh, looking at the MACD, the black line did cross uh, under the blue line, and we're still under. The, um, the line looks like it's flattening out a bit. So uh, MACD uh, looking a little bit bearish, uh, mostly neutral here. So uh, let's see if silver can, uh, can muster up a little rally here. And moving on to stocks now, this is the SPY, the S&P 500, and um, big bounce here. Um, coming up off the bottom at 116.20. Uh, currently uh, now at 119.94, almost 120 here. Um, again, uh, below the blue line, the 50-day moving average, which is a negative. Uh, then we have the 100-day uh, moving average, this green dotted line just above it. So we're coming up into overhead resistance here, uh, which should slow this uh, ascent uh, down. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Hopefully we come up here and close above the 50-day moving average. That would be very, very bullish. Uh, so maybe uh, this um, 
this uh, down move uh, is over here. We'll have to see. Usually when you get a gap up, a strong gap up like that, it does signal the end of a short term uh, down move. Uh, we'll have to see what the volume does and hopefully we get some good strong volume. Um, uh, maybe up in this level here that we had earlier in the week. Um, but uh, so far, uh, the stocks are having a nice bounce, but uh, chart patterns are weak. We did break out of this triangle pattern to the downside. Uh, um, so uh, we are in sort of a corrective uh, wave here. We'll see if this marks the end of it. Certainly, a couple closes uh, above these moving averages would set us up for a rechallenge of this upper trend line here. So just to recap, uh, gold, silver, and spiders uh, getting a gap up. Uh, we'll have to see if the volume comes in strong. That would be a great sign. Gold, uh, the gold GLD chart looking the best uh, chart-wise. And uh, uh, certainly with the uh, silver and the uh, 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 SPY under the 50-day moving average, I'm not as bullish on these charts. But let's see what happens. Hopefully this is the end of the corrective wave, but we'll have to, we'll have to see. Thanks for watching.